One of the most controversial figures in American politics right here in South Florida today, Steve Bannon addressing the 2016 presidential race and more in Fort Lauderdale. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Steve Bannon took over as chairman of the Trump campaign last summer when the candidate was 12 points behind. He helped steer Donald Trump's historic comeback victory and he talked about that and more during an appearance at the Sunshine and Politics Speaker Series at the law firm Trip Scott in Fort Lauderdale. I was there for the event. With protesters outside, Steve Bannon spoke inside to an invitation-only crowd in Broward County, retelling the story of Donald Trump's historic election victory and how he helped make it happen. Bannon saying he built a new Republican coalition that included disgruntled Democrats tired of seeing their jobs shipped overseas while illegal immigrants poured over the border. In Donald Trump, Bannon says he found the perfect messenger. Donald Trump ran for one year. He's an American hero, right? He may not be everybody's cup of tea. And he's a very imperfect person, right? And he admits, but he's an American hero because he didn't need to do this. He did this for his country. He knew his country was in a crisis. And he knew with the Clintons and that, that hunt that they have, he got control of the, of the apparatus of the United States government again, with the House, the Senate, and the judiciary. Bannon, now outside the White House, remains a close advisor to the president, while also promoting candidates he thinks will help his economic nationalistic agenda. Candidates like Roy Moore, the Alabama judge who's now accused of molesting girls, one as young as 14, while he was in his 30s. Moore resisting establishment Republicans who are calling for him to drop out of the race. I think Judge Moore, you know, the people of Alabama got to decide. The people of Alabama got to decide. But the one thing I'll say about allegations, because I was the CEO of the Trump campaign, I think we had a couple of free allegations, right? I think we had a couple of free allegations that, you know, it's let people decide. Let people decide. And Bannon says he welcomes the various investigations looking into possible collusion between Russia and the Trump campaign. I have no problem at all with either Mueller or the other committees. One looks specifically at collusion with Russia or anything with Russia in the campaign. I was the CEO. We couldn't collude between the Trump people in Florida and the RNC people. <laughs> 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 that, it was, it, this collusion thing is a total fantasy. Now, in person, Bannon comes off as amiable, smart, very confident. He says that he will not stop until he has completely transformed his Republican Party. And he says that he believes if the party gets behind him, <clears throat> excuse me, and the candidates that he supports, that it will gain more seats in the midterms next year and that President Trump will easily win a second term in 2020.